So you're stuck between living in Fort Lauderdale or Miami. Well, to the outside eye, these cities can seem very similar, but if you live in Florida, you know that's not the case. So in this video, I'm gonna break down each city and help you decide which one may be the best fit for you. Okay, so I do a ton of videos of what it's like to eat, sleep, live, work, play, and buy real estate here in South Florida. So if that's what you're looking for, make sure to subscribe, tap the little bell to be notified every time I drop a new video. Also, I've helped a ton of clients relocate here from out of state. That's what I specialize in. So if you're planning on moving or relocating to South Florida, I'm gonna leave my number below. Make sure you call, text, or email me, and I got your back when moving down here. All right, so Fort Lauderdale or Miami. So like I said, to the outside eye, they may look like the same thing, but you'll quickly realize that each city has a different vibe and a different lifestyle. So we're gonna look at four different categories and talk about each one to help you pick which may be the best city for you. Okay, so starting off with housing and cost of living. So Fort Lauderdale comes in with an average cost of living at 24% higher than the national average, with the median sales price being about $450,000. So Fort Lauderdale does offer a wider range of options as far as housing goes. You can get a home starting in the mid 200s and it ranges right now all the way up to about 35 million is the highest price home in Fort Lauderdale. And with about 700 single family homes on the market, about 350 of them are priced over a million dollars. So in Miami, the cost of living is about 17% higher than the national average with a median sales price of about $596,000. Now in Miami, homes start a little bit higher, uh, around 350 to 400,000, spanning all the way up to about 55 million is currently the highest price home on the market. And in Miami, there's currently about 2,200 single family homes for sale, with about 800 of them being over a million dollars. So even though you'll find fewer choices for affordable living in Miami, there is a ton of condos on the market which can give you more of an affordable option even in some of those more expensive neighborhoods. So there's currently about 2,200 condos on the market in Miami compared to about 700 in Fort Lauderdale. Now in Fort Lauderdale's defense, it is a developing city so there's a ton of construction going on right now and they're building a lot of condos downtown. They have a 10 year plan and they plan on building a lot of residential units in that span. So as far as living goes, you will definitely find more affordable options in Fort Lauderdale. However, like I said, in Miami, if you're okay with living in a condo, that's kind of what they're known for. There's always an abundance of condos and you can find some pretty good deals there as well. Okay, so let's talk about education. Now, when it comes to schools, I always recommend that you do your own research just because there's so much that I could touch on when it comes to schools. I don't know exactly what you're looking for. However, I did look up some stats online, so I'm gonna give those to you real quick. So, US News and World Report ranked the best public high schools in Florida, and seven out of the top 10 were in the Miami area with none in Fort Lauderdale. So, when it comes to private schools though, three out of the top 10 are in Fort Lauderdale and four out of the top 10 are in Miami. Now, when it comes to colleges, there's about 20 colleges in Fort Lauderdale and almost double that in Miami. Now, Miami has some pretty big name schools such as the University of Miami and Florida International University, whereas Fort Lauderdale has Nova Southeastern University and Broward College. So as far as education goes, you're going to find more top rated public schools in Miami for high schools at least. Um, however, you'll find some good private schools in both cities. Like I said, do your own research when it comes to education. I don't want to get too deep into it, so that's just a basic summary. Okay, so let's talk about the lifestyle and the culture. So like I said, to the outside eye, I know I've said this a couple times, these cities may seem very similar. However, they have two very different lifestyles. So Miami is more of that fast paced, hustle and bustle, uh, party never stops type of atmosphere, whereas Fort Lauderdale is more relaxed, laid back with a suburban feel. Miami is a hub for art and culture with events like Art Basel and neighborhoods like Wynwood, where you're gonna find just a ton of artwork all over the buildings, graffiti, uh, local artists, local businesses, stuff like that. Fort Lauderdale does have its own version of Wynwood called Flagler Village, which actually is becoming the hub in Fort Lauderdale for a lot of young professionals and artists and local businesses. So as far as food goes, Miami pretty much has it all with a heavy influence on Latin food, especially Cuban. In Miami, you can pretty much go to any corner 
and find a walk-up window where you can get a cafe con leche, which if you don't know, it's a very strong Cuban espresso. Highly recommended. Now in Fort Lauderdale, you can find stuff like that. You're just not gonna find it with the same type of convenience that you find it in Miami. Miami also has a lot more culturally diverse neighborhoods, such as Little Havana and Little Haiti, just to name a few. As for Fort Lauderdale, like I mentioned, it's a lot more laid back and there's a heavier influence on boating and fishing in Fort Lauderdale. Now I've mentioned in previous videos that they call Fort Lauderdale the Venice of America and the yachting capital of the world due to it having over 300 miles of canals and waterways that run through the area, which makes it a popular destination for boaters, yachters, and just anybody who's into water sports. Now as far as food goes in Fort Lauderdale, you can still find everything there, but there's more of a heavy influence on seafood. But like I said, you can still find a lot of good food here. You're just not gonna find it with the same type of convenience that you will in Miami or the same abundance that you will as Miami. All right, so let's talk about travel. So a big con that both these cities have is the traffic. And believe it or not, one is worse than the other. So in both cities, you're bound to hit traffic at any time of the day. But if you wanna avoid traffic altogether, both of the cities uh, do offer a wide range of public transportation from the buses to ride share to the train and even the bright line which is a high speed train and then in miami you also have the metro mover which is pretty much just like a subway except above ground now both counties offer the low cost daily train that that runs between the tri-county area which is called the tri-rail in broward county and the metro rail in miami dade and they both run between the airports as well now as far as airports go both Miami and Fort Lauderdale both have an international airport. Miami's was actually ranked as one of the top 20 busiest airports in the world, while Fort Lauderdale's is not quite as busy, but still busier than a lot of airports in the country. So as far as walkability goes, Miami was ranked as the fourth most walkable city behind uh, New York, San Francisco, and Boston, uh, with the most walkable neighborhoods being downtown and Brickell, Wynwood and Edgewater, and then Little Havana. Now, Fort Lauderdale is considered somewhat walkable and was actually ranked back in 2017 as one of the top cities to live without a car. The good thing about Fort Lauderdale is it's very compact. It's really not that big. So anything you really need is within a 15 to 20 minute drive, depending on traffic, of course. Now, both cities are also very bike friendly. And one thing that both of these cities do share is that the drivers are just downright terrible here. I've mentioned this in a previous video too. It's just something you gotta deal with in South Florida. All right, so to summarize everything, Miami is definitely more of a culture rich city with top rated schools and it's very walkable. Whereas Fort Lauderdale is much more laid back with less congestion and more affordable housing. So your decision is gonna depend on what's most important to you. Now, the one good thing to remember is that no matter which city you choose, you're only less than an hour drive away from the other one. All right, so that's my breakdown of South Florida's two most popular cities. So make sure you subscribe, watch the video that pops up next, and we'll see you on the next one.